Today we just published a paper describing a new medical procedure for treatment of multiple sclerosis. This procedure is very simple. It involves performing a liposuction, taking out fat cells, purifying the cellular component from the fat called the stromal vascular fraction, and then re-administering it intravenously into the vein. And using this procedure, we have seen, or our collaborators have seen, which we describe in the paper, improvement in three patients with multiple sclerosis. In the paper, we discuss why such a therapy would work scientifically, because if we know scientifically why something would work, then we know how to evaluate it and how to expand upon it. So scientifically, this procedure would work hypothetically because, number one, the fat cells contain a large amount of stem cells, as we talked about before. The stem cells are primarily mesenchymal. Mesenchymal stem cells are very interesting for multiple sclerosis for two reasons. Number one, mesenchymal stem cells can repair the damaged neurons and the myelin, at least in animal models. Number two, mesenchymal stem cells suppress inflammatory reactions and produce different factors that slow down inflammation. The other cell type found in the fat that was administered as part of this procedure is called the T-regulatory cell. Very interestingly, in fat tissue there's higher amounts of the body's own T-regulatory cells which suppress uh, autoimmunity. The third reason why this may be working, the fat using fat injected intravenously in multiple sclerosis, is because within the fat there's high populations of a type of macrophage called alternatively activated macrophage. And this again is another cell type that seems to have anti-inflammatory and immune modulatory functions. So another reason that stimulated us, uh, our collaborators, to try this clinically um, in the three patients is because the use of the person's own fat has already been performed in animals in over 3,500 horses for different inflammatory uh, conditions. So this data suggested that the fat in animal studies and in large animal studies the fat has an anti-inflammatory component. Now these three patients, you can read about them in the publication. Uh, this is obviously a small sample number and the, we are investigating uh, this with bigger, with bigger numbers of uh, patients. And if you're interested in more information, you can see the website that's listed underneath this video. Thank you very much.